Um, before I begin, I want to give a special shout out to uh, Pretty Ricky. Um, much respect to you, man. I mean, you have set the bar so high when it comes to, you know, uh, your uh, financial status. And you have definitely inspired me to want to be one of the top 5% earners that live in Charlotte. Now, I know what you're all about to say, you know, that, you know, Langston, I thought you were going to leave Charlotte. I thought you were going to move. Well, while I'm here, I want to be one of the top 5% earners that live in Charlotte. You understand? Because, like, I can break it down to you like this, you know, in the black black community or the black conscious community, you have five percenters, and they go by, uh, no, they call themselves the poor righteous teachers, the ones that wake up the deaf, dumb, and blind, right? But the thing of it is, is that when you're talking to the youth, they want to know the information that they're giving you, that we're giving to them, is going to make them rich. If the, it doesn't make them rich, then they don't want to listen to you. I remember when I went to this um, Boys and Girls Club, right? Never forget it. I put out my second book. This is in Charlotte. I put out my second book, man. I was, I was, I was geeked, right? So I go there. I'm talking to the kids, and that's the first question they ask me: How much money do you make? And I was ashamed. I was ashamed and embarrassed because I, 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 I make that much money selling my book. So the reality of it is, is that if you want to be successful, if you want to relate, me as a person, want to relay a message to the children, reach and teach the children, you have to be a rich, righteous teacher. You have to, because that information and knowledge that you possess in your mind, you're supposed to apply that to your life. And when you apply that information and knowledge to your life, and people see your works, whether it's a house or cars and Listen, let me tell you something. Everything is not all about being materialistic. It's just that this is what people see. When they see that, then they want to be you. Most in the black community, a lot of kids want to be basketball players, football players, rappers, singers, actors, because they see those people as, as having a lot of money. And I encourage the, 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 the 5%, the 7%, 7%, 5%, 1% of the world that's that's specifically that's of African American race. No matter what you do, whether you're a doctor, a dentist, etc., I I urge you to not so much splurge, but at least let the, the, the youth know that you're making this amount of money and it's an it's attainable outside of rapping, outside of singing, outside of dancing, and all the rest of that shit. That there's a big world out here where you definitely can make money outside of entertaining someone or being someone's entertainment. So I definitely want to be one of the top 5% earners that live in Charlotte because I have people that look up to me and look forward to listening to my message. And you all can say what y'all want to say. But this is the truth. I understand that some of you all look at my videos because of the message and not the messenger. But the reality of it is, is there are other people that stray away from my, my, my videos. You want to know why? Because I wear Old Navy, a Crumbie and Fitch, uh, uh, Hollister, and American Eagle. I don't have gold chains. I don't have a fresh fade and waves and all of that. So it's like, why would I look at a person that looks like that? And I understand that people are stereotyping and are judgmental. But why would I look at a person that, that, why would I listen and look at a person that looks like that? What kind of information or knowledge does, does he have? And you gotta understand to a certain extent, yo, people are materialistic. And they're gonna judge you just like that. So my lifestyle is definitely attainable. And nobody doesn't want to look at someone's lifestyle that's, that they can attain easily. 
Anyone can live in the community that I live in. It's nothing. Let me tell you something. Most of the people that, that live in my community, they got they they went to college. Right? They bust their ass. And these are these people, I'd say they average in this in this community, they average in anywhere between 70 to 150,000 a year. Right? And that may be in total, meaning you know their 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 their, their significant other may be making eighty thousand, and and they may be making seventy. You understand? So I say anywhere between seventy to a hundred. I say one hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars a year, right? I'm not making that type of money, but I live here. So anyone can stay here. I made it. So can you? But not everyone can make a certain amount of money and live in certain places and do certain things. And the minute that I start living a type of lifestyle where people can see, whoa, yeah, he's doing big things, then more people will follow me. And I don't mean big things like wearing Versace. I'm talking about in my own way. Like the money, if I was making, let's say for example, I was making six figures right now, right? Right now, I would get most of my fruits and vegetables imported. I wouldn't go to a grocery store. Or I would definitely go to, I would definitely have a personal farmer that would be growing my food. That's where I would be right now. If I was making $100,000 a year, my house will already be built in Nevis, in the West Indies. So... I'm not talking about like once I start making that type of money, I'm going to be driving Bentleys and having gold chains everywhere and Versace. No, no, no. I'm saying it in my own way. But you got to do big things in order for people to see the fruits that you bear. Other than that, I keep on talking on YouTube and saying this, this blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying nothing if I can't produce anything out of the knowledge that I have. If this type of knowledge that I have in my mind has gotten me here and no further than here, guess what? Why should you listen to me? You can achieve that. And it's the point that I'm making. This is not a checkers game. This is chess. And I definitely want to reach and teach the youth. But people, the youth that is, are not wild over by that dull dollar they want that shiny quarter that plain and simple let me say this for those that know polite what am i saying any different than polite is saying okay throw away the throw away the big words throw away some of the the the, the conversations whether it be about metaphysics things that are not like really not un, that's unattainable like the core of the earth Nobody could go there. Throw away that. I'm talking about simple conversations that can help you out in life. When you when you when you judge me on that, I'm not saying anything different from what Polite is saying, right? But at the same time, why is it that he has more subscribers than I do? It can't be charisma, cause I'm a hell of a fucking character, and you all know that. I got you all looking. It can't be looks. I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm definitely better looking than polite. What it is is that he's that shiny ass quarter. He has the cars, he has this, he has that, and blah, 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 blah. He has the wives, he has all of that. He has any and everything that the average man would want. And he has everything, any and everything that the average woman would want to be around. It's that plain and simple. And not only that, I tell you what, he got me. He sells you all hope. And I don't. That plain and simple. And I know what y'all gonna say. You ain't no pole lighter. You always talking about pole lighter. You always talking about your family. You always talking about this person and that person, and blah, blah, blah. These are the people that you worship. Not all of you, some of you all do. But I'm telling you what's, what life is all about. 
And it's not right. It's not right that people will listen to a wouldn't listen to me because of what I got on. We all live at. What car I drive. It's not right, but it's the truth. I got to be, and I said it, G-O-T-S. I got to be one of the top 5% earners that live in Charlotte. Because that's the only way I'm gonna get my voice across. It's the only way I'm gonna get my message out there. The only way. Other than that, nobody's not listening to me. Nobody's checking for me. It's, it's just, it just speaks for itself. Look at my subscribers. And it's crazy. So some, some people may sit back and say, well, that's not true. You know, I follow you and blah, 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 blah. You follow me for a reason. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying all of y'all. I'm just saying some of you. Don't get it twisted. This is my new channel. I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb. I remember prior to me making these Charlotte videos, I didn't have half of y'all looking at any of my videos. It wasn't until I... <laughs> it wasn't until I had something that you needed. That's when you started looking at my videos. And the minute that I stop making videos about Charlotte, that's the minute that you'll stop looking at my videos. It's just that plain and simple. It's nothing really complicated about this situation. I have to be rich by default. First thing is, I have a certain lifestyle that I want my family to live. And I mentioned some of it. I would, if I had, a, if I was making $100,000 or more, I would definitely have my food imported. You know, um, quinoa comes from Bolivia, Peru, and I think it's another place. I would definitely have my, my quinoa imported in bulk, brought to my house, wild rice, black rice. I would have my fruits and vegetables, a farm, a personal par farmer, farm, my, farming my own food, my food. Bringing the fruits and vegetables to my house. I would definitely have solar panels on my house. I would definitely have a Tesla, or some type of electrical car, not a gas powered car. I definitely take trips and, and, and take my children around the world so they, they can see, they can see what this world has to offer outside of the state of North Carolina, outside of the state of New York, outside of the state of Georgia, outside of the state of Florida, all of those states they've already been to. Period. Outside of the country. I gotta do it. I have to do it. Like I said before, most people are materialistic. And if I don't, if I'm, no disrespect, it's, it's just the truth. If I'm a poor righteous teacher, nobody wants to listen to a poor righteous teacher. They don't. And like in our, in our community, people are like confused. You know what I'm saying? Like some of the 5%ers are like, well, why can't we break? The reason why is because you have to change that whole title of being a poor righteous teacher and that the percentages need to increase like if you're for, if you're five percent and you each one teach one and that person becomes a, a teacher and, and and you have more teachers then the, it sh you shouldn't be calling yourself five percent anymore you should be calling yourself seven percent eight percent nine percent ten percent the percentile is supposed to go up every time you each you, you, you excuse me you each one teach one you you, you educate those to become teachers. It's crazy to me, man. It's crazy how life is. When I start talking about money, people, the first reaction is, well, he done sold out and he's such, 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 such. Let me tell you something. In order to be, let me take it back. In order to live a certain lifestyle, right? No matter what type of lifestyle it is, you gotta have money. I mean, you should know that. In order to be educated, you gotta have money. You went to school. You had to pay for your what education. Every time I go inside that, that kitchen and I and I and I make my vegetarian dishes for me and my family, my family and I, vegan dishes, I gotta have money for that. I, 
Green peppers cost money. Red peppers cost money. Zucchini cost money. Quinoa cost money. Sea moss cost, cost money. Moringa cost money. Spirulina cost money. M uh, uh, um, ginger cost money. I could go on with this. St. John's worth. Tea costs money. Valerian tea costs money. Everything costs money. And I can sit down and talk about the history of, 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 of the fiat note and go on and on and on and that the money's not back and such and such and such and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to that. I'm not, I'm not taking the day. I know at the end of the day, if I want to be a, if I want to be conscious or unconscious, regardless, in order to be conscious or unconscious, I got to have money. In order to be woke and sleep, I got to have money. Matter of fact, I got to be making money while I'm asleep and woke. That plain and simple. And I didn't catch this epiphany because Pretty Ricky had, you know, made some money. I've been on this shit for years. You gots to have money. You gotta have it. I'm sitting in front of a $400 camera. This microphone is a Rode wireless microphone. It cost me $300. This whole setup right here that I got is damn near... No, 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 I take that back. Technically, it's about seven, about seven fifty. I got this little thing, this pat to cat fly, or whatever that's wrapped around this steering wheel. This whole setup that I got right here cost me around seven and change. That's not including the cannon that I have inside the house. That's not including the ring light that I have and the other three studio lights that I have that's in the house. That's not including the laptop that I have. You gotta have money in order to be successful. You gotta have money in order to, 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 to run a basic YouTube channel. That avatar that you see, well, I, the avatar that I have on this one, the, the new channel, is a picture of me. But on the old channel, you'll see a, a avatar that, that cost me $200. Dude, dude charged me $200 for that. I've invested thousands inside this YouTube, this, this channel. It takes money. Money that I got to have. If I want be, to be successful on what I'm doing, this next book I'm putting out is going to cost money. I have no marketing and advertising team, so I, I'm going to have to... Money. Money. I'm gonna have to hire people. I don't have a team. I'm gonna have to hire a team of people to help me. Money. So don't get things misconstrued. Don't act like, well, Langston on this money trip now. No, I've been on it. I got to be one of the top 5% earners that live in Charlotte. Plain and simple. Because I cannot live like this and think that I'm gonna be successful. Gotta step it up. And money is not everything, but it is definitely needed. Hey, I hope you all got something out of this. Other than that, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, definitely share this video, share it share it.